Okay, now we're going to talk about Last of Us, which is Naughty Dog's new title, new IP. Um, I think it's coming in 2013, no exact release date on that one yet. But um, Dan and I got to see the game at E3 um, two weeks ago. So our first look at the game was during the Sony press conference. They showed how, how long was it? It was like about five minutes of gameplay. Yeah, about that. Yeah, about that. And um, again, it was, um, it was very- Brutal. Brutal, yes, brutal. That was the word of the conference. Um, it was just basically uh, showing uh, the two protagonists going through like a deserted house, um, just basically killing dudes. Oh, um, come on, that's that's a little unfair. <laughs> what do you there's, mean? There's a reason for why they kill, not just in their massacre no, 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 cutting no. up corpses. Oh, no, of and course, of course, there's a reason. Maybe we set should set the give... scene. Okay, we'll set the scene. So the game is set in post apocalyptic X. I don't know the name of the city. Which no, they haven't city talked about the, the kind really of minutiae of the important details, like how <laughs> Ellie and Joel meet. I know that though. I can talk about that. Would you like to? Know. Yes. So um, the protagonist of the game is a guy called Joel, and uh, he. So what happened was the world was fine, and then there was an outbreak, and we don't know what the outbreak was. We no details about that, but basically it produced people that were infected. Um, so there was an outbreak, and then people were quarantined, and um, Ellie, the twelve-year-old. Uh, protagonist was born in a quarantine zone. So Joel was born before the outbreak, he knows what the world was like, um, you know, in normal society, etc. Whereas Ellie has all kind of, she was born during the outbreak, she kind of has only known this kind of weird um, post-apocalyptic world where everything's destroyed and people are in quarantine and, you know, there's danger um, all around her. And um, she, Joel helps Ellie break out of the quarantine zone and then they're stuck together wandering around. I guess it's a survival game, right? So they're fighting um, to survive in this kind of but environment. But it's, it's not your typical kind of 28 days later infection mm -hmm scenario the stuff that we've seen so far they're still very human they're not kind of misformed they still have well, conversations they're organized it isn't just kind of a rage or a no, like a no, biological no, 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 outbreak where they're well, we don't know, mindless but, zombies um, from this is interesting because from the things that i've seen of last of us i got the impression that um like in uh, the road Cormac mccarthy's the mm -hmm. road um it you know there there's obviously a thing but there are people who um, you know, gangs um, who were trying to survive as well. And they're not infected necessarily, but they're bad guys yeah. because, you know, they will kill you on site to, you know, steal your stuff. Because they're survivors, they're scavengers. Yeah, scavengers. So well, I got the impression that Joel and I, during this stuff that we've seen publicly, um, they were just uh, coming up against just different, not necessarily the infected, no. but, yeah. then, but then, you know, I, I don't know, it may That is a distinct possibility yeah. as well. But by the same token, you know, Ellie and Joel are also those survivors who are yeah. scrounging ammo where they can get it. They're yeah. you know, trying to find the bits and pieces that will help them get to the, the next area. Yeah, so I guess the interesting thing about Last of Us is that um, the developers, Naughty Dog, have said that they're, you know, p players can choose um, different ways to play the game. So what we saw during the press conference was a very hands-on, action-heavy approach to, to, to the survival. So, you know, you see somebody, you just gun them down or, you know, hit them in the head with a you know, the butt of a shotgun, um, you know, or knife them and just steal what they have and run away and move on to the next person. So you can, so you can do that. But we, in the behind closed door session at E3, we also saw a different approach, which was a more, um, I guess, stealth approach to the game. So you don't have to go around, you know, killing everybody or taking them down if you don't want to. As long as you survive, you can steal stuff from people. You know, you can just like knock them out and leave them unconscious or, you know, there are different ways to go about it. And the AI seems to be really clever. They've talked a little bit about the fact that the uh, different AI elements will react very differently depending on the situation. Yeah. So, for example, if you pull a gun on, uh, on an enemy, they know that it's a gun. If they have a gun, they might shoot out with you. Right, if yeah. they have a brick or you know yeah. a pointy stick, they may run away, and then they may call for for reinforcements cool, with the others yeah. who are in the area yeah. around them as well. And Ellie as well played very different roles in the two demos. One, she was more passive; she kind of came along for the ride. Yeah, right. Whereas uh, another one that we saw in the behind closed doors, mm -hmm. she had a much more active role. Where if there was an item in the environment she could interact with, mm -hmm. she might pick it up. She and might throw a brick or hit yeah. someone. Yeah. So there's there's a really interesting dynamic. And the one thing I really noticed and struck me throughout both demos is that there's uh, it was shortened in the press conference demo for, yeah. for time, but there's this real element of 
exploration as well. There's almost an uncharted feel about... Very uncharted Not um, surprising for, for Naughty yeah, Dog. But. There's a lot of, um, you know, platforming and, like, environmental puzzles and stuff, so it's not all, like, uh, about combat, you know. But also things you can just stop and look at in the world. Yeah, like, exactly. there's movie posters that the two yeah, will yeah. have dialogue. A conversation and, about Yeah, it, rather yeah. than throw to a cutscene, you know, yeah. what was it like before, yeah. the two will actually discuss. And also, I noticed that they don't have much physical interaction. Ellie, you know, Not Ellie, all, Ellie isn't a crutch for Joel. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the two are, are absolutely equal in terms of there's one point where they work together to, yep. to get a ladder to get up onto, yeah, yeah, uh, which is where the, the press conference presentation started. But, you know, Joel isn't pulling her down to areas or, you know, picking her up or yeah, so I asked, having physical interaction. I asked Nori Dog about this after um, the Behind Closed Doors demo because Ellie doesn't seem to be, you know, she's a 12 year old child um and 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 joel doesn't seem to be helping her at all or like asking you even asking hey are you okay or hey we just shot two people are you like she doesn't she's not carrying behind yeah. a couch or anything um and the reason for that is 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 contextual so like i said before she was born during the outbreak she's used to this environment she's she's tougher than your average 12 year old girl she knows how to um, maneuver you know herself around um difficult terrain she knows um all about weapons and stuff so she's you know She's got it down. She doesn't need help. And I think that's very... She wasn't much, Bieber generation. A very mature way um, to deal with this. Yeah. Well, the, un, uh, the, uh, the last the of last us, right? Of, the younger The of unfinished us. one. That's another Sony one. <laughs> it, as you said, it's coming out. There's no firm date yet, but it's mm. 2013, and it will be exclusive on the PlayStation 3. We're both excited about seeing very more. Excited. So stay tuned to the site. As soon as we get some more details, we'll share it with you.